There's the uh, skid plate bolt I put in. I broke one. I just drilled a hole through the broken bolt and tapped it to 5 16 And uh, tried this bolt before putting the skid plate on just by hand. And then took it out and put the skid plate back on. Oh, there it is. Fixed. Now, got a bolt in. I just want an eight turn past snug. Uh, here's the Irwin uh, tool. I just put the uh, tap in it. The tap kit, it's not too expensive. It was like, uh, it was less than $5 on sale. Uh, I put the uh, bit in the Ryobi here, of course, and just drilled the hole out all the way this size and then use this. Tap. Sorry, I didn't make a video. It was just two hands on. I didn't want to mess up. I guess I could have stuck the camera on a towel and tried to make one. But, uh, put the tap in the ear one tool. This was 20 bucks by itself. The tap kit was less than five. And then I put a little 75W140 in this bottle here. And I poured it on all four sides of the tap. And I went a eighth of a turn, or I mean a, I went a full turn and then a quarter turn back and then a full turn again. Quarter turn back until, did that until it was all the way through the hole I had drilled. You want to make sure your hole goes all the way through. You, you will break a tap trying to tap something. If you don't make sure your hole's all the way through, it'll bottom out. But, uh, that's how I did it, and I backed it all the way out, and then I hand-tried the 5 16 bolt, uh, body bolt I had, and it worked out perfectly, and I just put the skid plate on, tightened all the bolts in, I eight turn past snug, and it's good to go again now.